Hi guys! Today I'm gonna show you how to sew this bag for toiletries or makeup or whatever you want to put in it, so stick around. Okay, so I've laid out my fabric and I'm using this zipper to shut the bag and this is 16 inches and since I've decided to make the bag round, it's gonna go almost all the way around, so I need to make the top and the bottom pieces a little bit bigger than this is. Um, and I'm gonna make everything in doubles for this bag just because this is um, pretty thin fabric and I want it to be like a solid purse um, for my toiletries. I don't want it to be just, I want it to be able to stand up. So we're gonna start by cutting out four identical pieces that are gonna make the top and the bottom and then we're gonna cut out the piece that's gonna go all around the side. I now have four square pieces, so these are doubled. Now it's really important that you make these um, the exact size or a little bit bigger than the width of the zipper because if you make it too small you're not going to be able to shut it. So you need to have enough space to close it but to leave just like a little bit of the lid to open up. Now to get the shape a perfect round there are lots of different ways to do this. If you have a bowl that's the perfect size, you can just lay that down, um, draw on it and cut it out, or just cut freehand, do whatever you feel is right, but I'm going to try to find a bowl and go about it that way. So this is the bowl I'm using. As you can see, we've got a good piece over here left that's... Yeah, the zipper can't reach all the way around. So I'm going to cut through all of these and make four identical round pieces. So I've got my four pieces, two for the top and two for the bottom, and I'm going to sew them together now. So I'm going to put them outside against outside, and then sew almost all the way around, leaving a tiny gap so that we can flip them back inside out. So sew both of them together like this. So this is what it looks like when it's been sewn all the way around and this is what it looks like when I flipped it inside out. Now, it doesn't really want to man maintain the round shape, as you can see, so I suggest that you iron it. Um, poke every corner out like this one, which is kind of want to go straight right now, but it's not straight, it's bendy. Um, so I suggest that you iron these bad boys to get them really, really flat. Next up, we need to shut this ending that we left open, and we do that by folding the sides in, folding them in like so, and sewing across here. And this side is going to be a little straight and not perfectly round, but that's okay because we can actually make this the opening. So the only spot that's not going to have the zipper. So that doesn't have to be a bad thing. So start by folding these in and sewing them shut. Okay, these are now folded and sewn shut, and it's time to start working on the body piece. So that's the piece that's going to be in between these guys and keep them together. So we need to measure all the way around this measurement to make that the length. And the height, well, you can decide that for yourself, but I want to have it be able to stand up, so if I make it like too high, it's, it's just going to sag together. So. Yeah, like 10 centimeters or something like that is going to do for me. My circles are 50 centimeters all the way around, so I'm going to cut out two pieces that are 50 centimeters plus a couple, um, like two centimeters for hemming, um, and I'm going to make them about 15 centimeters across, so two of those. Okay, so here are my two side pieces, and we're going to sew them together just like we did with the round pieces. So put them outside towards outside and sew every edge but one of the short ones so that we can flip it inside out. Okay, now it's time to sew the side piece together with the bottom piece. This side is still open, we don't have to shut that right now. Um, we're going to sew these two together before this has been shut just to make sure that we get it the right size. So this is going to be a little bit tricky, but I'm going to show you how to pin it and then sew it. Okay, so the bottom has been pinned like this to the main piece. 
and the reason we didn't sew the sides together before was that until now we did not know exactly um, where we needed to do that but since I've pinned it now we can sew these together now this is actually flipped inside out right now so in order to shut these all I have to do is put them together like this make sure that you know they match this hole right here and then sew this side shut and then once you've done that you just sew all the way along here to sew these two pieces together and then they're ready to be flipped inside out my bag now looks like this so we have to flip it inside out or back the correct way this could make a lovely fez <laughs> But it's not going to be a fez, it's going to be a bag. Um, okay, so it's time for the top now. And it's time to bring the zipper into things, just to complicate things a little bit more. Okay, so we want the top piece to open up like this. So what we need to do is sew this on. I'm going to start by sewing it onto the lid and pin it and then sew it onto the main piece and then sew the back together and then sew a little handle or maybe a bow for it. Okay, so as you can see, I have now placed and pinned the zipper to the lid and I've pinned it with its bottom up, as you can see right here because um, we're going to sew along the outer edge and then flip it open and it's going to be the right way. So it's time to start sewing. Okay, so my camera did not record the last part, sorry about that, but um, the zipper is sewn on to the lid piece and I'm going to sew it to the body piece now and I've pinned it. I don't know if you can see how I've done this, um, but it's pinned just like I pinned it to the lid and we're gonna sew all along this line and then flip the whole thing inside out. So um, one thing you need to think about while you're sewing um, the zipper is that you're gonna need to move the zipper head while you're sewing because it's gonna get in the way. So just keep moving it and when you get to the end um, leave the needle in and lift this bad boy up so that you can pull the zipper shut once more and then you can sew the final part. This part is still open so we're gonna close that once we're done with the zipper. So now we have to shut this part. So we're gonna have to flip it back. I just wanted to show you this is what it looks like. So flip it back and we can just close this a bit. Now we need to sew this end shut. Now if there are a couple of gaps, like by the openings here, that's totally fine. We just don't want this massive gap. So sew this shut and then we're going to do some decorating or accessorizing. So it's thin now and I'm going to sew it. Okay, so not perfect, but at least it's closed properly now. There you go. Now, I want to put something on here. Um, I thought I might do a handle, but I might do a bow instead. Hmm. No, I'm actually going to do a handle like I thought. So this is going to make up my handle and as always I'm going to do doubles so I'm going to sew them together, oh, leave one side, flip them and then attach them to the back. So this is the handle, now I'm going to fold this over twice to hide that ugly edge and sew this shut and then I'm going to sew it to the top of this. Okay, my handle has been shut and I'm gonna 
pin this right in, right there and then pin this right here and this is gonna be quite tricky to sew on um, and I'm gonna have to open this up so that the lid is free and accessible and there we go one bag finished and ready to be filled with stuff thanks for watching you guys and see you next time Thank <laughs> you.